Hi everyone! Hey, welcome to Patreon. Welcome to Patreon Beer Me. Okay, we have a... Uh, it's a Mexican cerveza. Mexican cerveza. Didn't know the percentage till about two minutes ago. Yeah, I made a huge mistake. Well... It's 6.4%, everybody. Only the best for you patrons. It's so Mexican that it's... there. We can't even... It's all in Spanish. Oh, wow! Cerveza, cerveza Alejandra. Alejandra. It also says Reserve 1925. Reserva. Reserva, sorry. Okay, this is our work. Right away, you guys. Beautiful. I love it. There's no paper labels. No they spare labels. no expense yeah. here. It's all embossed. It looks so classy. It looks like you're some kind of Mexican lord and you have this shipped into your huge compound. Yeah, what do they call it? Not an estate, not a manor. Do you know what I mean? Uh, your uh, Villa? Villa, yes, yes. Your villa. The box has braille on it. Very inclusive of you. They get a lot more sales. Yes, yeah, beer of the blind. Yeah. And since it's embossed, they can read it as well. At 6.4%, if you drink too many, you're going to go blind. <laughs> Even the fucking percentage and the recycling is in everything. Boss. It also this says Trevor's fucking wet dream. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to shove this bottle right up my ass. I like how it's only in Spanish. No, because you get some of those beers where it's like it's imported, but it's not really imported. Yeah, yeah. It's made here. No, this, this is, is genuinely real imported. Mexican beer. Yeah. Beautiful, doesn't Beautiful. it look? Even the color, the green is a, is a nice green. That's 1925 in the middle. I have no idea why. It's almost like if you were a villain, you would drink this. Oh. I think Mexico would might have been founded by Spaniards. Uh, founded or seized. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I mean, know anything about No the research history. whatsoever. None. But there it is. That's what it looks like, though. Yeah. The artwork's beautiful. I'm, I know what I'm saying, doing right now. That's a 10 for me. 10 out of 10. This is taste. Time to taste the beer. Oh, God. It tastes so it's good. So good. It's There's no bad aftertaste at all. No. You don't get anything. It's it, gone. If we didn't see 6.4% on that package, I would, I would have thought that. maybe 4.8 to 5.2. 4.7. Oh, you get a bit of bite. A little bit of bite. A little bit of like if you're going down on a lover, they might want to get checked for something. I'd love to know what the fuck this is. Oh, shit. What? It's from Spain. It's a Spanish beer. It's a Spanish beer. It's an import. So basically what happened, <laughs> is a, some paper towel just fell out of that box, by the way. Oh yeah, that's the one I used to clean. We saw the 6.4% and got preoccupied with that. Didn't finish reading the actual box. It's a Spanish beer. Apologies Not to Mexican Spain. Not Well, it's the same language. It's probably like Quebec French and France French. So uh, yeah, technically yeah, they're yeah. French, but like there's differences probably. This makes a lot more sense now. I was like, wow, Mexico really stepping it up. They were not. Mexico did not step up. It was Spain that <laughs> stepped up. That. Spain, yeah. Spain beer. Spanish beer. This is a villa. No, yes. yeah, these are, oh, Spanish this... villas are like millions of dollars. It tastes like class. Yes. Not that the Mexicans aren't classy. No. This tastes like as a child. You're getting a little bit of licorice. My not face. a hint, not a not, not a single, a... not red, oh, not Oh, you know black. what? I brushed my teeth before I did this. Ah, yes. Yeah. It tastes flawless. This is a fucking hidden gem. It is great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is smoothness. It's as smooth as a well-groomed, chiseled Spanish guy speaking Spanish to you. You have no idea what he's saying. Just like we have no idea what's on the bottle, but God damn it, you just want to keep hearing him talk. Spaniards are attractive. Mmm. This thing is super smooth, and for a 6.4% beer, the fact that it's this smooth, it makes it even more triumphant. I was, A, I was just thinking that, B, I would have never thought of the word triumphant, but that is the perfect word to describe this. It is an angel blasting a horn to the gods on high that this beer is fucking smooth. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for me. This is downability. This is where it goes down. Look. I don't think we can say anything that we said for the first fucking three minutes. That was some really fucked up stuff. I'm looking forward to downing this. I want to take the armor off of this Spaniard and then go down on him. <laughs> Cerveza Alejandra. Okay. Oh man. It goes down pretty good. It does. It's not that bad. There's something extra going on in my mouth right now. Oh, I love that. 8 out of 10. It's yeah. an 8 out of 10 for me. So this is reliability. Can you count on this Spaniard to get you through the night? 6.4%. Is that a problem? It's really good beer and it shouldn't be 6.4 from what you taste, but this is dangerous stuff. Yeah, it's dicey. 
It's, it's that friend that always texts you to go out on the weekends, but you rarely say yes because you know if you're going out, holy shit, it's going to be one fuck up of a weekend. Yeah. You might get fired from a job that you actually weren't even on shift for. The price is steep. It might even be your freedom. Yeah, you might go to prison. Yeah. It's about as reliable as going to a Spanish villa. In Spain. And he let in you Spain. Stay, yeah, in Spain. And he let you stay at his place in his guest house and you open the fridge thinking, oh, there's probably nothing in here. And it was just fucking stacked with all the hombra. And you realize that you're fucking with 6.4. Yeah. But you didn't know it until you're on your fifth, and now you're taking a dump on the lawn of the villa. I guess you're fertilizing it, so it's not totally bad. Eight out of ten. Seven out of ten. This is final grade. Artwork. It is gorgeous. Dr. and Boss here. They did it. And you know what, Cerveza Alihambra, you're welcome. Taste? This is it. Overseas pleasure, and it is pleasuring us hard with this taste. Smoothness? It's as smooth as meeting a random Spanish-speaking gentleman at a bar. Your inhibitions melt away, and the next thing you know, you're raising a child alone. Downability? You can down it, you can down it, you can down it, you can down it, you can suck it, you can buck it. Good beer. Reliability, you can count on this beer to get you through the night, but that night better be pretty open-ended. Because you're fucked up. Fucking A. I gotta give it an A. You guys cannot go wrong with this beer, and if you do, it'll be in a great way. Yep. Thank you so much for supporting us. We love ya. Please let us know what beers you want to see us do. Any retro reviews, hardened editions, wines, Clorox. I'm all about the flavored Clorox well, these days. Bleach. We'll see you soon.